In this video, we went from a water damaged city scooter that nobody wanted. We built our own custom made 72 volt battery and exchanged the controller and made the scooter look brand new. So enough with the talking and let me show you how it's done. A wise man once whispered in my ear, if you acquire this 6 kilowatt kit, you will be able to wheel your scooter. So let's do the unboxing and see if that's true. Here we have the brain of the scooter, a beautiful far driver controller that pushes 80 line amps and 260 phase amps. If your battery can handle that, of course. And don't worry, I will show you what settings to use for your scooter so you don't blow anything up. You need to note that pushing your scooter to such a limit can blow the motor up or battery if you're not careful. But I will go through the risks and how you can avoid blowing anything up. After finding my scooter of choice, I didn't even believe this was possible. 6 kilowatt through a scooter that weighs 30 kilos. Shut up. And pushing that kind of power through the original 360 watt motor, I was 100% sure it would blow up. But we do it all in the name of science, right? So without any hesitation, I started to work on the battery, where I tried to pack as many cells as I could into the space I had in the scooter. And we were using the LG MH1 cells in a 20S 6P configuration, which can deliver up to 6C in short bursts, which means 6 kilowatts for this 1 kilowatt hour battery. And here are behind the scenes shots from the prototype scooter and its wiring, which as you can see, it's a big mess. But that's no worries. We'll figure it out before it's ready to purchase. But the priority right now is to make the scooter work reliably. So after very tightly fitting the battery in and figuring out the wiring mess, we were so ready to try the scooter out. It really looks like a sleeper. It just looks like a casual storage box, but inside of it, a six kilowatt controller that will make you disappear in seconds. So let me explain how all of this works. We use the original 360 watt motor and that's its rated continuous power, which means 24 seven power without overheating. For short bursts, you can go up to six kilowatts, but that only for five seconds and only a couple of times a ride because the motor have to cool down. And the same story applies for the battery. It has a continuous current of three C, which means three kilowatts, but the peak current of six C which is 6 kilowatts for this 1 kilowatt hour battery. Which you now probably understand that all of these factors need to calculate in to make everything work. And if you are already super experienced with building scooters, here are all the settings I use for the far driver controller. And if you are not, you can wait for the step-by-step -step tutorial on exactly how to do everything, wire by wire. And if you find yourself impatient enough to wait for the whole tutorial, you will probably be able to put everything together by watching other YouTube videos. And if you haven't noticed yet, this is a 9 baht G30 Max frame, just in a different version. But it uses almost all the same components. And comment down below how bad you would want a sleeper scooter like this. And yes, you understood it correctly. You will be able to purchase this exact controller with warranty from Electrolab. Which doesn't only fit the 9 baht G30 Max, but in a way all scooters. If you can fit a big enough battery, mount the controller correctly and make your motor not blow up. And with that being said, make sure to like and follow so you don't miss any other crazy conversion kits for all the toys you have. And that was it from Electrolab. Now it's your turn to build. 